Curry Crew. Today we have a wonderful dessert recipe for you. We're going to be making a tiramisu with a twist. So stay tuned. So guys, like I said in the intro, we're going to be making a tiramisu with an Asian twist. And the twist is that we're going to be making a chai tiramisu. It is going to be absolutely amazing. Not only is it going to taste fantastic, but it's also going to be full of some amazing smells and aromas. So you definitely want to try this out at home and try it out for yourself. So to make our tiramisu, we're going to start with the mascarpone filling. So add about eight ounces of mascarpone to a mixing bowl and then add in one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream, followed by half a cup of granulated sugar and two teaspoons of Yogini's Fall Blend Chai Masala. We want to run our stand mixer on high for about one to two minutes or until we reach stiff peaks. You know your cream filling is ready when you can take some on your finger and it isn't runny or falling off. It should be the consistency of whipped cream. Set this aside and let's move on to the assembly of our dish. So to assemble our tiramisu, we made some chai earlier and allowed it to cool in the fridge until it was completely cold. We will then take our ladyfinger cookies and dip them in the cold chai in order to allow them to absorb all of the wonderful flavors. This should take about 15 to 20 seconds for them to get fully soaked. Next, place them into a baking dish and start forming your first layer. Halfway through, you can also switch to a different baking dish if, like me, you realize that the first one was too big. Once you have your first bottom layer complete, we will take our mascarpone filling and add a nice, generous layer onto our cookies. Smooth out the layer on top, and then we're gonna repeat with another layer of soaked ladyfingers. Finally, we will add a second layer of our cream filling on top and smooth it out once again. Once all of our layers are done, we're gonna sprinkle some sweetened cocoa powder onto our tiramisu. If you don't have sweetened cocoa, take some powdered sugar, about one cup or so, and combine it with three fourths cup of Dutch cocoa powder, and you should have the sweetened cocoa powder that you need. You want a nice even layer on top of your tiramisu like so. Once that is done, place your tiramisu in the fridge for a couple of hours and allow it to cool down and set, after which we are ready to serve. And that's pretty much it guys. It's a super easy recipe, but it is one that is amazing and delicious. As you can see here, our tiramisu looks fantastic. It's ready for us to dig in. And not only is it gonna smell amazing, but it's gonna taste amazing as well. So definitely try this out for yourself. Enjoy. So guys, hope you enjoyed the recipe. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more delicious recipes.